Hi, my name is Bahadur Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the multiplication of the T matrices. So previously, we discussed about the multiplication of the matrices in a conventional way, row by column method. And also, we discussed the multiplication of the T matrices when we can multiply the T matrices as a linear combination of the columns of the first matrix. So in this video, we're going to discuss how we can multiply the T matrices as a linear combination of the rows of the matrix. So in order to do this, I would like to start this with an example of the multiplication of the row vector into the matrix. So essentially here, so let's say I've got a matrix. So here, let me denote this matrix as a B matrix with the three rows. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the three rows separately. So this is going to be the first row, this is going to be the second row, and this is going to be the third row. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the three rows into the three different constants. And those constants are coming from the entries of the first vector. So essentially, the first row vector is going to be multiplied to the three. So the second row vector is going to be multiplied to the four, and the third row vector is going to be multiplied to the one. So I'm going to multiply every row to the corresponding constants, and then I'm going to add them. So let's try to do this. So I'm going to multiply five and two to the three. Then one and four is going to be multiplied to the four. So essentially minus one and four is going to be multiplied to the four. And minus one is going to be multiplied to the zero and three. So minus one is going to be multiplied to the zero and three. And what I would like to do is I would like to multiply these three vectors into the constants. And then I just would like to add them. So at the end, I will get just one row vector, right? So let me multiply the first row to the three. It is going to be 15 and six. So the multiplication of the second row to the four is equal to the minus four and 16. And the multiplication of the third row to the minus one is equal to the zero and minus one. So what I have to do is I need to add the three rows, three row vectors, and I will obtain this. So it's going to be plus and plus. So this is going to be 15 minus 4 plus 0. It's going to be 11. So 16 minus 1, uh, it's going to be 15. Plus 6, it's going to be 21. OK, so essentially the multiplication of the row to the matrix is the linear combinations of the rows of the matrix. And we can check the dimensionality. So if you remember, so if your matrix, the first matrix, has one row and three columns, and the second matrix has three rows and two columns, then the resulting matrix, the multiplication of these two matrices, will lead to the resulting matrix with the dimensionalities one by two. Right? So this is what I've got, one by two. So let me write down the general formula of, of the multiplication of the row into the matrix. Right? So again, so what you need to do is you need to have a row vector with the three entries. So they, let, let, me, let me do this like a A1, A2, and A3. And this is going to be multiplied to the matrix with the three rows, right? So this is going to be multiplied to the matrix B with the row one of B. So I'm going to denote this as uh, the two lines there so that it's going to be denoted as a vector. So the R2 of B, so the row two of the B, and the row three of the B. So as you remember in a previous example, what I did is uh, I multiplied the constant to the first row. So A is going to be multiplied to the R1 of B. So this is going to be a row vector now, right? So the plus A2 is going to be multiplied to the second row of this B, right? So plus the A3 is going to be multiplied to the third row of the B. So this is how we are going to multiply a row into the matrix. So now what happens if the first matrix have multiple rows, more than one rows? For example, the first matrix is going to be, is going to have the following row. So I'm going to copy the first row as it is, three, four, and minus one, three, four, and minus one. And the second row is, let's say one, three, and two. And I have to multiply this to the same matrix B. So the matrix B is given as a 5T minus 1, 4, 5T minus 1, 4, and 0, 3. 
right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so let me check first of all dimensionalities. What kind of dimension is going to be the resulting matrix? So the first matrix has a dimension two by three, two rows and three columns, yeah, right? So the second matrix has a dimensions three rows and a two columns, right? Then the resulting one should have two rows and two columns, okay? I'm going to obtain, so I'm going to write down the resulting matrix in this way. So the row one, okay? and the row two, right? Because it has two rows. And the first row is going to be obtained by multiplying the first row of this matrix to this matrix B, okay? And the second row of the resulting matrix is going to be obtained by multiplying the second row of the A matrix, of the first matrix, into matrix B. So I'm going to write this in this way. So essentially, if you, uh, uh, let's calculate this first of all, then we are going to try to figure out the general formula. So I know already that if I would multiply three, four, minus one into this matrix, five minus one, zero, two, four, three, what we obtain is this row, 11 and 21. So we are going to obtain 11 and 21. So now I'm going to multiply the second row to this matrix. The so second row is one, three, two, one, three, two, is going to be multiplied to this matrix B, 5 minus 1, 0, 2, 4, 3. And again, if you remember what we did in order to multiply the row vector into the matrix, is that we combine the rows of the second matrix. So essentially, I'm going to denote this as a one row. The second row is going to be the second vector, and the third row is going to be the third vector. And I'm going to multiply them to the corresponding constants from this vector. So if 1, is going to be multiplied to the first row, 3 is going to be multiplied to the second row, and 2 is going to be multiplied to the third row. And then I'm going to combine them. So let me do this. So if I multiply 1 to the first row, what I get is simply 5 and 2, right? If I multiply 3 to the second row, what I get is minus 3 and 12. And if I multiply 2 to the third row, what I get is simply 0 and 6. So let me write this zero and six. So if I add the three rows, what I get is five minus three and zero is gonna be two, right? Two plus 12 plus six is gonna be 20, okay? I've got the row, which is going to be a resulting row. So the second row of the resulting matrix, okay? So I can go to here. So, so this one is going to be the, the first row. And that row which I obtain it is going to be the second row of the resulting matrix. So essentially, if I would multiply these two matrices, the resulting matrix, so let me multiply A and B. So the resulting back matrix is going to have two rows. The first row is going to be the multiplication of the first row of the matrix into this matrix, 11 and 21. 11 and 21. And the second row of the matrix, of the resulting matrix, is going to be the multiplication of the second row of the matrix A to the whole matrix B, which is going to be 2 and 20. Okay? And again, if I would like to write down the general formula of the multiplication of the matrices, it's a linear combination of the rows of the second matrix, I'm going to do this in this way. So let's say A is going to have multiple rows. So let's say row 1 of the A, right? So the row two of the A, for example, right? It has two rows. And this is going to be multiplied to the whole matrix B, okay? So if, if the first matrix A has two rows, okay? Then it doesn't matter how many rows the matrix B has. So the resulting matrix is going to also have the two rows. And I'm going to obtain the rows of the resulting matrix by multiplying the first row of the A to the B. Okay, to the whole matrix B. And the second row of the resulting matrix is going to be obtained by multiplying the second row of the A to the B. This is the general formula how we can multiply the two matrices as a linear combination of the rows of the second matrix. Thank you for your attention.